Here's a video of a, an assignment that we did in class. So for those of you that missed it, or for anybody that wants to review it, um, I will recreate it now. So basically what we did was we had a cell in the, the top corner with the tax rate, just entered as 13%. And the idea here is that uh, if at any time the tax rate changes, right? So let's say we elect another government and they increase the tax rate to 14% then automatically all the prices here with taxes would uh, would change, okay? So, um, so basically what we're going to do is just put in a label, enter 13%, enter some things that we want to, uh, to buy, enter some prices, and then have a formula determine what the price is with the tax. And uh, in addition, I've got this extra little cell here, this text cell that we're going to learn to uh, merge cells uh, and then wrap the text, okay? All right, so let's... So first I'll, uh, I'm just gonna take this and move it aside to use as a reference. So we're gonna start from scratch, okay? So up in the top left corner, we're going to enter tax rate. And uh, I always like to put a colon after it. And then I like it when, if I have something with a colon like that, I like to write justify it, okay? And then I'm going to enter 13 and I'll enter that as a percent immediately, all right? And below that, I will enter, so now I'm down in A4, and I'm going to enter shoes, pants, and socks. And then in cell B3, I'm going to enter price. And in C3, I'm going to enter price with tax. That's my little shortcut for with, just W and a slash, with tax, okay. And then both of those, I'm going to grab them both. I'm going to make them bold. I'm going to center them. And then I'm going to click on wrap text. Okay, so this one that's too wide, it will automatically wrap nicely. And then we'll enter the prices. So I'll start with the shoes and they're going to be $150 and then 50 for the pants. And the socks will be three. And then I want those to be a currency. So I'm going to, under the home tab, I'm going to click on the dollar. And then now for this particular column or these three entries, I'm going to get rid of the decimal places, right? So no decimal places. And then the price with the tax. So now to do that, we need to take the price and we need to add what the tax will be, okay? So I'll just start by taking the price. So if I hit equals and then click on the price, okay? And then I'm going to add the, the tax. So to add the tax, we're going to, first of all, click the, uh, the plus symbol, then click on the price again, and we're going to multiply the price by the tax rate. Now, what I want to do in this case, because I'm going to be copying this formula down to the other cells, I want to use an absolute cell reference, right? So while I'm on B1, the tax rate, I'm going to hit F4, F4 on the keyboard. And you'll see that that has now put dollar symbols in front of the B and in front of the one, okay? And then I'll add the decimal places back. So two decimal places, then I'll simply copy that cell down, right? And there we get our new prices for the pants and the socks with tax. Then I'll take those three cells, highlight them, okay? And then what I want to do is enter that text. So, so I'll just go ahead and type it. So should use absolute reference for or two tax rate cell and you'll see now that it hasn't wrapped and it hasn't gone down right so first i'm going to grab those three cells that i want to be in and then click on merge and center on the home tab and then i need to click on wrap text and i would like it to be left justified Okay, so go ahead and uh, save that. Just call it tax rate. Save it to your M drive to, in your Excel folder. And then you'll see that I have created a hand in folder for you. So if you look under beans, BTT10, and then Excel, and then look for the tax rate folder, and then go ahead and copy and paste this assignment into there. Okay, um, I hope that's uh, clear enough for you.